Are you a coastal grandmother? If I had three words to sum up what I think of when I hear the phrase coastal grandmother, I would say relaxed coastal sophistication. According to 26 year old TikToker Lex Nicoletta, who recently coined the term, you might be a coastal grandmother if you love Nancy Meyers movies, coastal vibes, recipes and cooking, Ina Garten, cozy interiors and more. And no, you don't have to be a grandmother to be a coastal grandmother. This aesthetic is all about the white button down shirts or blue and white striped linen shirts, white or tan palazzo pants and a straw hat or bucket hat, but also just as much about looking after your beautiful garden of flowers and vegetables, listening to jazz and bossa nova while you're cooking using produce from your garden, regularly going to the farmer's market, having hydrangeas and ginger jars everywhere and buying baguettes from a French bakery. Extra points for ordering in in French, Nicoletta says. Just like Diane Keaton's cultured playwright character, Erica Barry, in the stunning Nancy Myers movie, Something's Gotta Give. Nicoletta also says you should have a grand piano, which you don't necessarily play, but your one musical friend will perform at all your dinner parties. <laughs> Although I personally would still rather play the grand piano myself, I really love Lex Nicoletta's insistence that the lifestyle comes with the aesthetic. It's all about the simple life, stepping away from too much media and enjoying music, cooking, gardening, culture, bowls of lemons, comfortable flowy clothes, the beach, good books, and of course, a large sprinkling of Nancy Myers movies. When I first heard the term coastal grandmother, I thought it was a very cute term, and those two words together actually create a pretty apt and vivid mental picture of what we usually know as Hampton style. My own interest in Hampton style originally came from a few Nancy Myers movies. First, two of my favourites, the Father of the Bride movies, which are not strictly Hampton style, but there are still a lot of similarities in the home architecture, like a multitude of gorgeous French doors. And next, Something's Gotta Give, starring Diane Keaton and Jack Nicholson, which is actually set in a gorgeous Hamptons house. And people have been known to plan their kitchen renovations around screenshots of this house. Being that Diane Keaton stars in all three of these movies, we must conclude that she's pretty much the ultimate coastal grandmother. Diane Keaton and Nancy Myers have both actually commented on the coastal grandmother trend. Diane posting a cut together video with clips from Something's Gotta Give to look like she's Googling what is a coastal grandmother and commenting to Lex Nicoletta from one coastal grandmother to another, thank you. And director Nancy Myers noted that the coastal grandmother aesthetic has received over 1 billion views on TikTok, commenting, that's a lot of views for a pair of khaki pants, a gap sweater and a bucket hat. Meryl Streep, Oprah, Martha Stewart and Reese Witherspoon have also been dubbed coastal grandmothers and Anne Hathaway posted her own coastal grandmother pic and commented, may this moment never end. With such a surprisingly broad range of appeal for this trend and such a cozy comfy vibe, I have to think that many of us would agree. What do you think? Do you like this trend? Comment below with a grandma emoji if so and while you're there hit like and subscribe for more on how to get the coastal grandmother look in your house. If you'd like some more movies or shows to watch with the Coastal Grandmother vibes, aside from the Nancy Myers collection, Jumping the Broom is another fun movie to watch, starring the beautiful Paula Patton. Though it's set in Nantucket and filmed in Canada, it still has the same gorgeous East Coast look. The 1995 version of Sabrina, starring Julia Ormond and Harrison Ford, is another must-see. And it features a gorgeous estate on Long Island, New York, as well as a waterfront cottage in Martha's Vineyard. This one is a little out of left field maybe, but it has similar vibes to me. And that is Mrs. Aris Goes to Paris starring Angela Lansbury. The story of an English cleaning lady saving up for a Dior dress. I recently found out that there's a remake of this coming out later this year, so I recommend getting in early and watching this version. It's a gorgeous movie. And a TV show that I would highly recommend is Royal Pains which is a comedy slash drama about a concierge doctor in the Hamptons. 
Though it's more just Hamptons and less coastal grandmother, it's a funny show with lovable characters, summery vibes and absolutely stunning scenery. And maybe you're after some new coastal grandmother music to play while you're practicing your culinary skills or chilling out at the beach. This is one of my favorite topics aside from home decor because I studied jazz at university. So I would highly recommend along with your Etta James, Natalie Cole, Louis Armstrong and Steve Tyrell, look up some Ella Fitzgerald, Chet Baker, Melody Gardot, Sarah Vaughan, Miles Davis, Diana Krall, Dee Dee Bridgewater, Dexter Gordon, Diane Reeves, Joe Pass, Esperanza Spaulding, and my most favourite ever, Miss Carmen McRae, among many others. If you're after beachy vibes, you can't go past Bossa Nova, which is the breezy, beachy music from beautiful Brazil. Try Stan Getz, Rosa Passos, Astrid Gilberto, Miusha, Eliane Elias, Bebel Gilberto, Sergio Mendes, and of course, Antonio Carlos Jobim, who is the main founder of the Bossa Nova movement. I've made a few coastal grandmother music playlists for you right here on YouTube with different coastal grand vibes. So I'll link those for you in the description box of this video or you can find them in the playlist tab on my channel homepage. So there you go guys, the coastal grandmother. Now I'm off to watch Father of the Bride part 2, drink my tea and smell my bowl of lemons. Bye!